Hello everyone and welcome to the second video in the series of beginner sewing techniques and in this film I'm going to show you how to tie a knot in the end of your thread so when you start hand sewing your stitches will be secure and you're confident that all of your hard work isn't going to unravel um, as soon as you walk out the door. If you um, I'm going to start off with a with a threaded needle in this um, video. If you want to see how to thread a needle, just go to the first video in the series which shows you how to do that. Um, and I hope this is useful. Uh, it starts slightly abruptly, for which I apologise, but um, it settles down pretty fast. So yeah, enjoy, and please do comment and subscribe. Um, this is the way I was taught, and I now do it all the time. I can do it literally with my eyes closed, though I won't do that now, um, of how you can tie a knot and make sure that your knot is easy to do and doesn't come out. Now, of course, you can always do a knot by just picking up the end of your thread and like doing a, you know, a loop um, and put the tail back through the loop um, and then pull on that, uh, ooh, hello. pull on that tail. And as I just very ably demonstrated, that works. I've got a knot there. You can hopefully see it just here, uh, but it was a bit fiddly. So, cut that off so I've only got one. Um, so what I do is this. So take your needle um, and you want to hold the needle um, in your left hand or whatever, it doesn't really matter, you can do this either way, uh, left-handed or right-handed. And all you do is grab onto your thread with your thumb and forefinger of the other hand and just draw the needle all the way through so that, make sure it's still threaded at this end, um, so that you have a little tiny tail between your thumb and forefinger like this. Then what you do is you essentially take your needle and reverse it, so it's still facing that way, and you reverse it into your thumb and forefinger. So you're holding onto the tail that you put in to start with, which is that top one, and your needle like this. And you just squeeze those between your thumb and forefinger. So what you want to do is take your tail thread, so that's the one that, that is not connected to your needle, this one that you're holding onto, and you, let me just move the other one out of the way, and you wrap that around your needle two or three times so you get a little spiral. Let me just zoom in so you can see that. So you've got a little spiral looped around your needle like that. Then you want to push that down the needle and grab onto that spiral with your thumb. So you're still holding the end of the needle, you're still holding the thing you were starting with, you're now also holding onto that spiral and it's still around the needle. So in your hand, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, you've got the tail, the end of your needle and your little spiral loop and you're holding onto all of them. Okay, then you hold onto your needle, keep everything the same in your, on this hand, don't move anything, and just pull this needle and just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going and you'll end up with a tiny little neat knot like that. Isn't that clever? Let me show you again. So, start off um, like this. You pull your thread through. Reverse your needle in, so you're holding onto the eye, and your tail thread is sticking out the top like that. And then wrap this tail thread around your needle three-ish times, slide it down and grab onto it. I'm squeezing quite hard with this hand. Then hold onto your needle, give it a jiggle, hold onto everything and pull, 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 and there you've got a little knot. And that for me is the easiest way of tying knot in your thread. Once you get the hang of it, it's a little fiddly to start with, but it is so much easier than having to tie a knot loosely like we did at the beginning with the end of your thread. 